Hey there, Geometry Cats and Kit. Today we're going to be looking at 5.1 triangle mid segments. Let's go. First question we got to ask ourselves is what is a mid segment? Well, a mid segment connects the two midpoints. It's in the middle. It's a mid segment. It connects midpoints. It's mid. All right. So now our example on this picture over here is DE is a mid segment of that triangle because it connects two sides midpoints. Now could I have drawn a, one down here and drawn a, a mid segment? Yeah. A mid segment? Yeah. And then you get an upside down triangle that has half that's half the size. But a quarter of the volume, or not volume, area. We'll talk about that later. All right. Some special things happen with these mid segments. First things first. Let's erase this picture because it's it's getting cray cray. What do you notice about DE and AC? Yell it. Yeah, you're right. They look parallel. That's because they are parallel. Okay, mid segments are parallel to the opposite side. And they are, I said before, when you do that triangle is half the size, they are half as long. Those are the two key points to keep in mind for this section. Oops. So using the diagram up above of DE, that would tell us that AC is parallel to DE. Right? DE is parallel to AC. Put the line on top because it's not a number. It's the actual tangible object. And DE is one half AC. Or I could have also said two DEs equal one AC, right? Okay. Okay. Let's try some. Let's look at let's look at number one and y'all can do number two. Bring me a number two done, please. Test that you're listening. Identify all pairs of parallel segments. Let's start with XW. So XW is gonna be parallel to RS. I could put RY or YS, but I'm gonna use RS. Actually, yeah, I could have done any of the segments. That's what I'm going to go to is XY. Well, XY is going to be parallel to QS. And lastly, FQR is parallel to WY. Well, that's a mess. Well, I say it's going to be QR to WI. Okay. Okay. Again, you guys try number two. Bring it in done for me tomorrow. I'm going to check it. I'm going to check it. All right. That was really aggressive and awkward. Just like everything I do. All right. Let's try number three. All right. We got L, M, N, N. Our midpoints. So these are all three mid segments. PQR, PR is 46, Q is 40, LN is 17, and a television program. Well, used to be, I think it's off the air now. LN, get it, LN. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to label what I know. So PQ is 40, PR is 46, and LN is 17. Okay. Let's try her out. So I'm just going to go through and label it and then go back. So if LN is 17, it means that this side is double 17, right? It's twice the size. Okay, the mid segment is half the size of the outside. The outside is double the size of the mid segment. So 2 times 17 is 34. Do I have a QR? I do. QR is 34. 
Okay. Uh, LM. So here's LM. If this is 46, LM is going to be half that, right? It's going to be half of 46. So that's 23. MN, 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 MN. MN. So MN is going to be half of 40. And half of 40 is 20. Hey, mister. All right, MR. Ooh, this one. Now remember, the mid segment cut this into two equal parts. It cuts in half. So if the whole thing is 34, this piece is 17. And actually, each of these pieces equal your mid segment. This is 17, this is 17, QM would be 17, right? So MR is 17. Okay? Okay. Alright, last one I want to do. I want to do one algebra one. Uh-oh. My pen died. Snap back. Alright. So I have a mid segment and the side opposite it. Well, we all know that this is half the size of the bigger one, right? So if I double this, it'd be equal to the bigger one. So what I like to do is I double the mid segment and set it equal to the opposite side. And then from there, it's good old fashioned algebra. Two times seven, 14 X. Right. I guess from there I subtract 17x because I need to get that x by itself, right? Get away from that negative 18. So I get negative 3x equals negative 18. Then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. Get x equals 6. Now if I was looking for the length of one of those sides, I'm going to plug it back in. But we'll do those tomorrow in class. Uh, hope you had a good time. Hope you learned some. Enjoy.